Hello and welcome back to my channel. I already talked about in a different video whether or not a PhD is worth it. And from the comments I got there, a lot of you had the question whether or not a PhD might be the right thing for you to consider or not. And that's why today I want to talk about five reasons why a PhD might not be for you. We will go through the five reasons and then in the end I will also give you my kind of priority on which one I think is more important and which one isn't. Okay, so let's dive right into it. The first reason why a PhD might not be the right thing for you is because you can't motivate yourself to work, to do the research or to study right now. Or you have trouble structuring your day, your work, the things you need to do in your masters right now. And you always seek someone that sort of gives you structure that tells you what to do in what steps and only if you have that and if you have the structure and if you have somebody pushing you then you are able to make progress. If you are like that then I'm afraid it will be very very tough for you to go through a PhD. If you are lucky you will find maybe a PhD program that's very structured where you have a lot of peers where you maybe find a research group where you get this pushing and where you get the structure but in most of the cases during your PhD you will be required to motivate yourself to do the work to structure your work yourself and just keep on doing it and if you then have a hard time motivating you or structuring the work that might be problematic. The second thing that is an indicator that maybe a PhD is not the best idea for you is when you struggle, when you have a problem that you can't solve for several days and you tend to give up and just are too frustrated by problems you can't solve. While doing a PhD, whether that's a PhD in computer science or also in, in other areas, you will have to solve hard problems. You will work on research that nobody has ever worked before. So it's only natural that the problems that you are facing are hard ones, right? That's how you deserve to get a PhD after you have solved them. But that also means that it requires substantial time to learn the problem, explore the problem before you are able to solve it. And that's why if you are somebody that gets frustrated easily by problems, that tends to give up, maybe a PhD is not right for you. The third indicator that a PhD might not be for you is if you don't like enjoy or at least reasonably feel comfortable while writing research papers, writing your master thesis, writing your bachelor thesis. Because in the end what the PhD in computer science requires is a written PhD thesis. And you will have this process of writing your thesis and this will take probably a year. Sometimes it's a little bit faster when you already have published papers before and you sort of just have to collect them and write them together into your thesis. But still, you will do a lot of writing while doing your PhD. And if that's something that you don't like and, and you rather would focus on coding or only solving the hard problems, you might also have a hard time doing your PhD. Writing skills, um, I think that's a little bit questionable whether that's a, a indicator already, right? When, when you like writing, but your 
these just doesn't read well or you, you still have problems with your English maybe whatever it might be so those are at least in my perspective solvable things where you usually also get support in your graduate program whether that's writing classes whether that's English classes scientific writing classes and so on so um, if you are not good at writing yet that's something that will come in the process but you have to enjoy it otherwise it's going to be a lot of pain for you another reason that's a big red flag or another thing that's a big red flag is if you only do it to get a PhD title if that's your only motivation you will probably not make it through this years of researching solving hard problems writing and so on so that's not a good motivation and probably will not help you getting then the title also in the end and then the fifth reason if you want to get rich quick right so a, a PhD program is not something where you will earn a lot of money if you earn money at all yes after the PhD and you can um, look at my other video whether a PhD is worth it or not whether there is payback later on in salary or not but it's nothing where in the process of doing the PhD you will be rich and living a rich lifestyle or at least you earn a lot of money right rich is something that everybody has to define for himself okay so those were the five reasons you're not good at motivating yourself or when you have to structure you work yourself you give up easily when you solve hard problems you don't like scientific writing and the process of scientific writing you only do it for the PhD title and you want to get rich quick out of these fives I think the biggest indicator that a PhD is not for you are the first two the motivating yourself because that's really something where you have to go through where you sometimes also have to get out of a rut and just keep going especially in the hard times and every PhD student has those where you don't get anything published where you don't make progress and where it just feels like you will never reach the end but if you are confident that you can master such a crisis and also maybe have the the supporting system around you be the family or friends then go for it and then the, the the second item in, in priority or a second reason in priority is you don't give up easy on problems right? you have to solve hard problems and if you are able to do that and, and, and go with it then um, it should be perfectly okay the other ones then vary on their importance and um, if uh, you have the first two attributes then, then I'm sure you have a good shot at getting a PhD and that's actually the topic of my next video that I will do what are the five things that you have to have when you want to do a PhD in computer science so if you don't want to miss that video please subscribe to my channel to make sure that you don't miss it if you have liked this video please give it a thumbs up and smash the like button and of course I really love to discuss with you in the comments so please leave comments below I will read each of them I will respond to them and we can have a discussion about maybe your personal experiences as a PhD student or questions that you have while deciding now whether or not to do a PhD so thanks again for watching subscribe to the channel and I see you in the next video